Anyway, so we're gonna take Kazooie back now. And uh, we got a red door, actually a high red door that we need to go for. Which is right up... No, it's not a high red door, it's a high blue door. But it's a high red area, which we need to get to, which is right over here. You can see the safe down there. Well, okay, that's not how I meant to do that, but... Whatever. Anyway, so we, uh... Well, if we can get up here to the door, that would be great. Now watch out, because the pathway is really narrow here, so I like to just kind of go against the wall. And, uh... Just get rid of you. <laughs> some notes here. And the pathway goes on to a secret little cave here with some... Sprint shoes! Alright, so take those and run outside real quick. As fast as you can. Because, believe it or not, this is where the race is with, uh... Mr. Fit. So... I see you have your running shoes on. Do you think you can beat me to the finish line in the gold medal? Sure. I believe I can do it. Because I've got my shoes. My shoesy woozies. And you've got nothing. So prepare to die. Booyah! Booyah, 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 Oh, holy crap, you're fast. But I'm faster. See, there's no way you would win that if you didn't have those shoes, man. That was close. <laughs> Seriously. Mm. I lost. I can't believe I was beaten by a bag of feathers. Take my medal. I'm off to the gym to train for next season. <laughs> well, I don't know if you made it to the next game, buddy, but whatever. Alright, so we're back in the beginning where the medal is now. So it's time to finally reunite Kazooie and Banjo once and for all. We've done enough separate crap. Ooh, well that was a rather long way down. Oh my gosh. Alright, we can get back together any day now. Okie dokie. Hang on a second. Okay, well, I believe we uh, got our next course of action here. I'm gonna head out to the water here. Duh. I don't think we've been to the underwater cave yet, so... Zoop, and there's more notes down here. Hooray for that. I never have too many notes. 855 already. We haven't even got the treble clef yet here. That's actually way up high above the cave. Anyway, I'm gonna do a little torpedo action here because we got a kazooie block. And boom! And the water from the rain dance drains out of there. I don't know if that water is only there because of the rain dance, I can't remember off the top of my head. And that falls down to, guess where? Take one guess. That's right, Pterodactyl Land, right outside Drippy's Cave. We visited this guy earlier. Uh, he said he was like a beverage connoisseur. I don't know if water is like the most, you know, ideal beverage for someone like that, but... But he's excited! My pool's full of water! Where did it all come from? Oh... Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Tastes heavenly. Well, it did come from the clouds, Dippy. <laughs> did it? You said it wouldn't just drop from the sky. I lied. Just drink it and be happy. Oh, I am. Here, take my odd-shaped gold tooth in exchange. Your what? Okay. That's 81, y'all. We're getting pretty freaking close to the end of this game. Holy crap. Okay, so we need to get out of here. Let's hop up here. Oh. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah. Get up there. I can't see. I can't see. Can I... What the hell? Which way am I... Oh. Drop off. Let me try that again. What the hell? I don't know what just happened there. I think I... There we go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I was doing wrong there. Oh, don't fall off the edge here, because we need to get to a fly pad, and I'm going to take my time here, because I don't trust myself. Yeah, there it is. He's, that's exactly why. If you bees come near me, I'm going to do a wonder wing. I seriously am. Okay, so we need to get up high. And I mean, like, really high. So high, in fact, that, like, even weed itself couldn't take you there. So, um, it's right up here. 
see here. Oh, I can't get the camera to work right. No, not there. Wait, did I pass it? Oh, I don't think I did. I think it's so higher up. Yeah, this is it over here. Okay, we got it. It's right here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Another fly pad right there in case you screw this up. So now we're going to finally get that treble cliff. And, uh, this can be a little rif risky, so, you know. Like I said, you know, don't hesitate to take your time. Because mm. I'm going to do just that. I don't want to fall down in this cave. Oh, jeez. Back up there. I'm used to Link, like, who gets back up on his own. Wait, did he die there? I think he did. I sure hope he did. Oh, that's not going to work. No, we needed to land on the... There we go. Now we need to walk this guy all the way on to the end here. So we got the treble cliff. There's one more note right there. And inside this cave... I mean, there's no sense of walking across it with Banjo-Kazooie just to have to walk back. So you might as well just do it with a clockwork egg. Anyway, there's another switch. Number eight. Hmm. So what do you think the code's gonna be? Ah, uh, I say it's 1384. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't you dare! Don't you dare! You bastard! I was not done yet. You know what, we gotta find that safe anyway. No, we were gonna have to jump off anyway. That's what I was gonna do anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I just need to find where I would've landed if I had... <coughs> ...gone the right way. Excuse me. Let me just get up here and see if I can get a better look at the cave here. There he is, he's down there. Oh, man, that was close. You guys, I swear to God, I swear to God. Okay, we got one more number to get. Well, it just so happens it's right above him. So, let's... Da -da 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 -da. Go in here inside this little red tunnel here. And head across to the final switch. I don't know if you could read that number or not, but it turns out to be... 9! 1984! 1984, I should have remembered that. It's a real rare date. <laughs> Must have been the year that rare was established or something. I seem to have this running joke about it. Anyway, hang on. Oh, great. That's right, we got this to do. Okay, um... So we're gonna leave the safe, hug the right wall to a water cave. Wait, this cave over here to the right from when you're leaving the safe. And there's another water cave here. You know, as if this place couldn't be more confusing because it looks like I was just here. But you know I wasn't because there's notes here that I haven't picked up. And that's why, that's why this place is so confusing because every place looks the same. You think you've already been there, but then it's like, well, no, I haven't. And, well, yada, 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 so... Anyway, there's a Globo down here. Pick this up for when we need to see Wumbo, which should be pretty soon here. We don't have that much left to do, really. Yeah, she's right over there. Okay, so, uh... We surface, and look at what I see over here. The sun would get out of my eyes. <laughs> it is... The long-lost husband of Mildred the Ice Cube! Hey, young man! I'm George Ice Cube! Stuck up here at this perilous altitude. What happened, George? I was out walking the icy side of Hailfire Peaks with my wife Mildred when a huge blizzard came along and blew me away. Why not stay up here? <laughs> Lovely view. I'm afraid of heights. Now I reckon I'm above the icy side, so if you could just give a little push... Alright, sure. I just pecked him, that's all I did. Here we go. You think he's really gonna land on the icy side? Well, think again. No! Wrong side! Tell Mildred I love... <laughs> well, at least they're together again in Ice Cube Heaven. But now you'll be able to actually jump down there. And you get a fly pad out of the deal. So what do you say we had for Wombuds? But wait a minute, there's something on the way there. Oh my god! Okay, y'all, this... <laughs> Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this at all. 